GOP debate. David Knight, Jakari Jackson, Leanne McAdoo, I'll be popping in as well. And then Alex Jones and Larry Nichols, 10 to 11. Then the video premiered at 11 p.m. Central of Larry Nichols, Clinton Chronicles 2. And, 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 you know, I didn't micromanage all this. They did such a great job in the promotion. They had a Clinton Chronicles 2. It's, it's, it's the new Clinton Chronicles 2015. Because Jeremiah Films made Clinton Chronicles 1 and 2. So we'll also put all this stuff on YouTube. So the name of it, we need to update that, is the Clinton Chronicles or the new Clinton Chronicles 2015. Uh, just saw that right there. And it's not I'm doing that on air to do something on air. I just have to do it. I'm moving too quick to even be able to correct this during a break. Okay, uh, let's continue here. And there's other documentaries going to be airing throughout the night. Uh, video premiere, Demonic Possession of Vatican Exposed. We don't mean like an exorcism. We mean by groups that are communist, pedophile, crews, you name it. We interviewed the guy in Rome in front of the Vatican who talked about it all and broke it down before it happened and predicted it. And then he'll be on live during the middle of the night uh, with, who's hosting then, with our news director, Rob Dew. So see the full lineup at InfoWars store. Dot com, Infowars, uh, moneybomb.com, uh, Infowars.com forward slash show. It's all linked right up there. Okay, uh, back to James Wesley Rawls of survivalblog.com. Can't wait to have him back up in December when his uh, new uh, novel comes out. Uh, but now let's run through your calls. Eagle Eye in Tennessee, thank you for holding. Thanks for being part of the broadcast. Go ahead. You're listening on WNFZ 94.3 FM in Tennessee. Nashville. Thank you, gentlemen. Uh, I just wanted to first, I wanted to pray for peace, love, and protection for you and for all the warriors of liberty. And I, you know, know, knowledge is, is, is power is key. Knowing is half the battle. Seeing what's coming up front uh, gives us the opportunity to be able to, to affect change. Uh, prayer does affect change, and I pray that God would would uh, would know what, show us what He would have us to do, and that we would hear Him and obey Him and be able to do those things because that's going to be critical. Now, the analysis of, of the situation, as I see it, the number one problem that we are going to have to uh, come up with a solution to is the uh, coming and pending communications total blackout that will completely eliminate our ability to communicate with one another, especially for those who are of like mind. Uh, and those spirits that are truly the patriots of this country trying to fight for the liberty and freedom. And I wanted to get both of your thoughts on uh, the best way to handle that. Well, let me just say this and have James have the floor on this subject. And Dr. Group's coming in in the next segment. I'll do about 20, 30 minutes with him in overdrive. And then Anthony Gucciardi is going to come in as well because I've pushed Group back and that's wrong. And he's got key intel for us. But what you said is the entire truth. And I don't know why I don't say it more. I do this so much. I'm so exhausted and I'm not complaining, it's just that I don't do very well a lot of the time because I, I just do too much of this. Uh, but asking God to lead God and direct us is key. If we just pray to God to show us what to do to fight this great evil and to try to, 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 to lessen its attack, because we know it's coming. I've gone way past the point of trying to stop it. Uh, and it, we do need to ask God to tell us what to do. Isn't that true? I mean, I know you're going to agree, James, but can you talk about that? Uh, and what's key for us to pray for, and then B, sure. get into his communications takeover with the Obama kill switch we know is in place. Right. Um, yes, it's important that we be in close covenant with God. We can't expect God's covenant blessings unless we're in the covenant with him. And we need to, to pray specifically that God would put us in the right place at the right time with the right people. I think that should be our key prayer for the months and years to come, because we're going to be coming into a, a, a very dark period for our nation. Uh, I refer to it as the age of deception and betrayal. That's the age we're entering, the age of de deception and betrayal. And to, t uh, to focus on communications, that's one of the things that we uh, have been writing about year after year in Survival Blog, is the importance of every family having multiple modes of communication. I do recommend that people, even if they don't want, if they don't want the, the shackles of an FCC license, at least go to a ham radio swap meet, talk with some of the old timers there and get yourself uh, set up for both two meter and HF uh, communications equipment. And for point to point communications, 
at an individual retreat or ranch, I recommend the MERS uh, band radios. That's M-U-R-S, which stands for Multiple User Radio System. It's a unlicensed uh, band that is, uh, it sits uh, fairly close to the CB band, but it's very underutilized. It will not be crowded in the event of a crisis, at least in suburban and rural areas. And again, there's no license required, and it will be your means of communication. It also sits right next to the National Weather Service frequencies, so you can have your handheld MERS walkie-talkie that's programmed with both your local uh, MERS uh, push-to-talk frequency and the National Weather Service alert frequency, which sits right next to that band, as well as having perimeter security via a system called a, a Dakota alert. I've written a lot about that in my blog. The Dakota alert system also use, uses the MERS band frequencies so that one handheld radio can be your solution for push to talk, to talk with your neighbors and folks right there to retreat for uh, coordinating retreat security, as well as having access to, to weather alerts and being alerted when someone's entering your property uh, through a Dakota Alert infrared uh, driveway alarm system. All right. God bless you, Eagle Eye. Anything else? Uh, thank you for your service to both of you, and God bless you. God bless America. Air assault. I'll tell you, you, folks. It's God just bless you. Thank you, sir. It's just so crazy to know that they really do plan. I mean, that's one big thing that's scary, James. You said years ago, other guests said years ago, the elites were buying secret airstrips, underground bases, running to the hills. Now they admit they're doing it. And just what a nasty elite to screw the world up so bad, they've got to go hide out, but they don't care because after all this, they'll come back and be our rulers. I mean, what a group of sick freaks. Yeah, absolutely, Alex. And uh, when you come right down to it, that's what's really going on. We have a, a power elite that want that has all the money in the world they, they just want more power and again as i mentioned before they don't care what system it's under as long as they're the ones at the controls and that's why they'll fund all these different groups and let there be a big battle because they've got their operatives at the key levels so when whatever is in in power they'll still be in control i mean what a group of loons and what's crazy is they're already in control pretty much they just want total global control and so they're willing to endanger even themselves for the power grab. These people are psychopathic. Yes, it is psychopathic or at least uh, sociopathic when you come right down to it. Oh, man, I tell you. Let's go to Mitch in Georgia. Thanks for holding her on the air with James Wesley Rawls. Go ahead. Hi, Alex. Hi, James. I just want to first take my hat off to you, Alex, and tell you how much of an amazing man and amazing courage as patriot you are. Same as you, James. And I just want to get right to it. Alex, you are one of the first and one of the most noble and courageous people that have exposed an issue I want to ask your thoughts about. Um, in Endgame, uh, the, the, uh, the documentary, you exposed the organ harvesting of the Falun Gong, the spiritual movement in China, where now up to four million have been killed, and now it has been called the largest genocide in history out of China, where now the, basically the entire Chinese economy has been used to eradicate the Falun Gong spiritual movement for their organs. And it's basically appropriate because Planned Parenthood has been doing the same thing. But what is going on with the Falun Gong in China is ma has made Planned Parenthood look like little babies. And I just want to take my hat off to you, Alex. And ask well, James, please don't you take know, your hat off to me. I mean, we expose that. Because that could happen to us. We have empathy, but absolutely. How, a great term you use. They, the globalists use economies and gear them to destroy who they want. That's what a command and control non-free market economy. A free market economy is what you want happens, the will of the people. But a globalist economy is what they want. That's a very powerful statement. Uh, James, your comment on what uh, Mitch was just talking about. Well, uh, yes. Um, organ harvesting en masse is definitely going on, both in China and here in the United States. And uh, if I were a, a black American, I would be deeply, deeply outraged to know that the entire Planned Parenthood apparatus was specifically directed at the so-called urban areas of the United States. They actually wanted to reduce the black population of America. That's why they put so many of the Planned Parenthood centers in urban areas. They were specifically going after black Americans. 
Um, and here we, they've been caught red-handed, literally red-handed, uh, ho- harvesting uh, baby organs and selling them on the open market. It is a sick, sick system. And I'm glad that uh, people are exposing this, but that is just one aspect of the larger battle. Well, and imagine the- what we don't know about. I mean, it's always worse than we even thought. And I happen to know a lot of stuff that's going on that I've mentioned on air, but people just can't believe it. I've read in scientific papers 20 years ago, they've created thousands of different human-animal chimeras. They just don't roll them out in Costa Rica, uh, in, in, in Thailand, all over. I mean, the abominations already committed by the elite are so horrible, I can't believe God hasn't already blown the whole planet up. <laughs> well, we, one thing's for sure. We only deserve God's wrath, and we need to beg God to, to uh, stay in covenant with us. And at this stage of the game, we are at the end of the church age. We cannot expect God to protect the United States as a nation. The best we can hope for is that he will protect individuals, families, and church families and communities at this stage. Well, that's something that's I have a quandary with. Because- we should be imploring God uh, that he, we should be imploring him to protect us individually. Thank you so much, Mitch. God bless you. Good to hear from you. Yeah, that's that's something. It's a paradox because I, I I want to be protected. I want my family protected. But then, if God just burned the whole planet up and started over, I would I would get it. I wouldn't blame God because, man, we have really taken free will and decided to just be absolutely evil. Well, yes, uh, that's what the media has been drumming into everyone's heads that we, that we are to be like gods and to turn our back on God, His sovereignty, His plan, and his covenant with us. So at this stage of the game, if you look at things like uh, the abortion mills, for example, we only deserve God's wrath. And we can, at this stage, only beg God that he would stay in covenant with us and protect us. We need to pray the 91st Psalm. Well, i tell you this. Um, the enemy knows about these rules. That's why it's gotten us to go along with the corruption or deny it's there and let it happen so that we would lose our protection. And I just, I just can't believe that it's this bad. It's just so insane that there's this many people that would consciously go along with evil. Dan in New Mexico, you're on the air. Go ahead. Yeah. Thanks for taking my call. Mr. Rawls, pleasure to talk to you. I have one simple question for you. Um, Sort of a high, just sort of a hypothetical. Is if if you were the president and CEO of Restore Liberty Inc., given the amount of evidence that exists, and especially some new evidence that has come out uh, through a researcher by the name of Rebecca Roth, why wouldn't you uh, make uh, the exposure of 9/11 the cornerstone of the strategy? Are you asking me or are you asking J- our guest that? I'm, a- I'm asking the guest. Okay. Um, well, I have, I've got to say that I don't think that uh, 9-11 was entirely carried out with robotic aircraft, but there's, there is substantial evidence that there were thermite charges pre-placed in those buildings. And I I mentioned that just recently in my blog. I try to stay away from some of the more conspiratorial aspects because I don't want to run myself in little circles getting involved in minutia and lose sight of your picture. Yeah, James, you're Uh, such a wise man because I've been been supposed to 9-11 since the day it happened, since before it happened. We have the Saudis running it. We have the NORAD stand down. We have the PNAC documents. Our government, bare minimum, aided it. It's criminals. They're aiding Al Qaeda today. Our military knows. But then people call in and will bring up somebody. I don't even know who they are. And they'll say, hey, why aren't you covering this aspect? There's a giant compendium of people researching it. And a lot of them fight with each other and stuff. And it just becomes a big tar baby. Listen, criminals have taken over our government. They're harvesting babies' organs. They're putting fluoride in the water. They want world government. They're doing evil stuff. They're aiding radical Islam. I, we've already won that war. Most people now, our own military's coming out saying our government runs al-Qaeda and ISIS. So uh, get the word out on that. I mean, I, I, you just don't win the argument getting into thermite charges, even though that's true, and they got the samples. You can see it happening. They obviously had somebody working with them inside. 
You can argue all day who did it. The problem is we can't prove it. See, see, it's like we're cops.